All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our next deck of the day, which is going to be Teamer Ramp. So we have all donation decks today, um, as you can see up top. So these are and these are all uh, donation decks that I haven't played myself. These are all uh, user submitted decks. So let's keep this going. Let's see how Teamer Ramp does. Uh, so this one looks pretty interesting. So basically, we're relying on turn two having both Incubation Druid, which you know how good this card is. This card's awesome. And then this new card that, I don't know if I've ever really played this card, Elfhem Druid. So it always is a mana creature, but if you cast a kicked spell, you can actually add two mana. So um, that second mana is really valuable. So we only have seven kicked spells in the deck, but it's just, you know, like a free addition um, there. Our seven kick spells are Fight with Fire, which is an awesome card to be able to kick, and Grow from the Ashes. So Grow from the Ashes, if Grow from the Ashes only costs four because a Druid, um, that can be pretty awesome. Like, we can cast Grow from the Ashes on turn three after Druid on turn two. Um, and this goes and finds two basic land cards and puts them onto the battlefield, not, like, onto the battlefield tapped or anything like that. So technically what we could do if we have, like, a, a good hand is we could have Druid on turn two, kick a grow from the ashes on turn three, get two lands, and play an incubation druid. And then on turn four, um, I don't know, we have millions of mana. Um, I guess we would have our four land drops plus these two, which would be six, plus this, which is seven, plus this, which is eight. And then if this is kicking the spell, that's nine. So we could technically kick a fight with fire on turn four. Wow. That's pretty nice. So... Yeah, we'll see if that ever happens. Uh, besides that, on the top end, we have a lot of mana sinks. We got Hellkite and Biogenic Ooze, two awesome mana sinks. We got Ravager Worms because this uh, um, animation is amazing. And the card's not so bad either. And then our Hydroid Crisis, uh, we could use a lot of mana with this. Same with Explosion. So here we go. Going big. Teamer Ramp. I already have a deck with this name. Well, it's still there. There you go, Team Ram. Uh, let's play match. Got fourth in modern with affinity today. Very nice. You're using ancient stirrings to find cranial platings. Ugh. Ugh. Cranial plating is so strong. Yeah, Loving Life. Yeah, we got a donation for a Bant Vanifar deck. So it's going to be a new Vanifar deck. Uh, it'll be pretty interesting to see how that one plays out later on. Oh, we just need one more land. How many lands do we have in our deck? Only 24. So I'm going to mulligan. I don't think it's... It's not likely enough that we draw that land, I don't think. For me to keep it. The Lava Coil is just kind of a weird card here. Because Lava Coil could be really good against our opponent. Or it could be really bad. You know, we just don't know without knowing the opponent. So that's a weird scry. Yeah, Lava Coil would have been really good. If it was the London Mulligan rule, we would, would have had Steam Vents plus all... Or, uh, I guess we would have had those six with Lava Coil, and I would have just been able to put the Ravager Worm back and keep Druid, Fight with Fire, Lava Coil. They missed a land drop. Let's kill this thing. Before they can start adapting and getting more creatures out. Because it's... I don't really care to play a Krasis for only one. Or like to only draw one card. Alright, getting this up on YouTube. Just got mid-range. Oh. 
That's so satisfying. Hey, what's up, King Toll? Doing good. Um, if I had like 26 or 27 lands, then maybe, then I would kind of think about it. A little more keeping that one lander. Got you. It's probably just the right choice to mulligan no matter what. There. Opponent, so, opponent's playing an Abzan deck. Abzan midrange with Growth Chamber Guardian and Land War Elf. That's about all that we saw. I guess they had a removal spell. I guess it was probably Cast Down. I didn't really see what removal spell they used to kill the Biogenic Ooze, but I would kind of assume Cast Down. Oh, no, I think they had, I think they had Mortify, actually, now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I think they had Mortify. Which we don't have any enchantments, no big deal. Carnage Tyrant could be kind of good. Same with Find Finality. Going to like a longer game. But honestly, I kind of like our main deck. I'm like looking at my main deck here, and I'm not really seeing anything I don't like too much. I think Expansion Explosion is probably our weakest card. Maybe that replaced with Carnage Tyrant, but I don't want to have Mono 6 drops and stuff. I play Find Finality. I could see like a bunch of creatures trading and everything, and we find back some creatures. Find Finality is probably good. I guess we don't have Finality, so it's just Find, which makes it worse. Hmm. Do you have any list for Green Stompy? Uh, I haven't played a Nullhide version of Stompy in a while. I had a Gruel Stompy. But I was playing Phoenix and not Ferox. I don't know which one of these cards I want to play. Do I want to play Expansion or Carnage Tyrant? Or a Shock? Could just have like this Shock, just get their Land War Elf. The Shock's probably pretty good. What if I have a Disdainful Stroke? And get him. What if we get him with Disdainful Stroke? Say no Tristani for you. Ugh. I'd rather have Shock than Disdainful Stroke right about now. Yeah, I guess we couldn't cast Shock on turn one anyway. Would Carnage Tyrant be better in this hand? Did I miss the Zomzom -Zom deck? What's the Zomzom -Zom deck? Uh, not sure if you did. Well, we can keep up Disdainful Stroke after turn three. We can we can turn three, grow from the ashes, and hold up Stroke. That's pretty nice. The zombie deck. Ah, uh, no, we did not get to the zombie deck last night. Um, so I'll be doing that one tomorrow. Wow. What a good disdainful stroke. Yeah, what a good quality disdainful stroke. Sure, we could eat that with Ravager Worm, but they get like some other tokens and stuff. We can probably find a better thing to eat with Ravager Worm. Like that. That's better to eat. Um, one, two, three, four, five. If I activate Incubation Druid, I'm at three, four, five. Ah, if I, if I ac activate Druid, I'm one mana away from killing. From sorry, from playing Ravager Worm. Um. Could just play Krasis for six. We'll just do that. So now next turn. I 
Remember, with Shalai out, I can't, like, kick fight with fire and target a bunch of other things. Yeah, this list does look pretty sweet. with fire to deal 10 to them next turn. Grove in the Ashes was awesome there. Oh. Yeah, Matt. I'll actually... I'm probably going to play... Now, good call. I'm probably going to play Zombies today. Man, I kind of want to just Ravager Worm. Ravager Worm's sweet. Can I do both? Do I have 15 mana? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I have 14 mana. I need 15. One mana off of Ravager Worm. Plus this. We'll just do this. Ravager Worm's so much fun, though. No, but uh, with the Jeskai midrange, you know, we, di we didn't... Uh, that league did not take very long, so I think I'm going to be playing a fifth deck. But yeah, I'll be playing a fifth deck today, so I'll probably just throw zombies at the end. Because I think I think we'll have time for a fifth deck, and late, unless these other decks take super long for some reason. So we should have some bonus magic. Yeah, the if I haste that uh, that Ravager Worm there, they could have cast down and kill the Ravager Worm, I guess. Which I guess they could kill like the six six flyer in that case also. Thanks, yeah, we got a got a flowery tie today. I think they had two they had two mana, because they had four mana total, they just played that two mana two two. Hmm. Well, I really like these first four cards. Mountain, breeding pool, lava coil, elfham druid. It's pretty hard for me to mulligan that. But about the only thing that would make me mulligan that is Ooze, ooze, ooze. Means I have to draw two lands before I can do anything here. Um, oh, I didn't update the decklist command. Thank you. I forgot to do that. All right, should be updated now. Hmm. Does the presence of more mana creatures change your attitude on mulliganing this? I mean, it does give us more things that, that are good draws. Uh, we also have, like, Grow from the Ashes. We have, like, 22 other lands. The seven other mana creatures. Grow from the Ashes. That is a lot of things. That's 33 cards that would be good draw. But if we just draw the other cards, we just lose automatically. Or if our opponent has removal on like the druid and stuff. I'm gonna ship it. I like this more. Dodger Dog. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I have never had a Dodger Dog. Uh, never been to Dodger Stadium. Far west west coast like that is where I have not traveled very much. I've traveled a lot of the Midwest and East Coast, but not West Coast. So are, are Dodger dogs better than regular hot dogs? Most likely Nexus. I think I need to get the creature in play. Yeah, you know, 
So without, uh, the question is what's my opinion on the new mulligan rule that they're trying. Without myself playing the new mulligan rule, it's kind of hard to say, but I am certainly intrigued by it. Um, I, I'm very worried about that rule in older formats, in non-rotating formats, but in limited and in standard, I think it could certainly be a good rule. I don't think it... I'm not sure why nobody's really talked about maybe just having two different mulligan rules. Like, why they can't have, like, the current the current mulligan rule for modern legacy, you know, like, the basically non-rotating formats there, and then have the London mulligan rule for limited and standard. I feel like that would be pretty reasonable. Limited in particular, I think it's very, very good for limited. Dang. Yeah, so there's not a lot of combo decks in standard. Um... It helps, it helps decks that are looking for specific cards that need just specific cards. Decks that are just looking to have an abundance of resources, it does not help. Makes those decks a little weaker. So if you think of like something like Esper Control, it would make weaker. Because that's like a deck that just needs an abundance of answers kind of thing. I need them to not have another counter spell. I need this fight with fire kicks to resolve. Legacy modern, it it really does not seem like the London Mulligan rule would be a good decision at all for legacy and modern. I would not want to see those formats with that with that rule change, honestly. But I mean, I could certainly be wrong. It's unfortunate my life's like this where like the, the turns like this where I, I really should, you know, I really do should activate Incubation Druid and try to put lethal on my opponent more than just kick cast fight with fire, I think. Cool, Zerf, yeah, you like that idea too? I don't, it seems like people just aren't talking about that scenario very much, like that that's not an, an outcome that's possible for some reason. Like why, why, why can't we just have multiple, like two different mulligan rules? Seems like that's pretty easy to have. Um, the barrier to entry into the older formats like Modern and Legacy are so incredibly high already with just the um, amount of knowledge needed to play those formats and everything. Just having a, a different mulligan rule than Standard and... Standard and Limited does not seem like a very big reach at all or like a, a hard ask. I'm just saying, even just from like a knowledge standpoint, of like just a playing, playing magic standpoint, modern and legacy are pretty tough, kind of thing.
Do y'all think I should just concede? Yeah. Two wilderness. Double memorial. Ooh, Banefire could be nice. Alright, we have some cards. Hmm. What are the five worst cards here? I guess I just don't need Fight with Fire. Right? If I'm playing Bane Fire and Explosion. It's like ooze. Like, I like how Hellkite and Worm have haste. Krasis is just really slow, too. Both Ooze and Krasis are both very slow. It's like you're spending six mana to get, like, a 4-4 four, four here. This is five mana for six power. I kind of like that more than Krasis. So, if you're Wizards, wouldn't you want the rules of your game to be uniform across all formats? Is there... This is just awful hands. Is there some, like... I guess I keep this. Like I'm not sure what the what the big value of having the same rules across all, all formats to having the best gameplay is. I'm not sure if having the same rules outweighs having the best gameplay. And it's not a lot of different unique rules we're talk talking about here. I'm just talking about a different mulligan rule. You already have like different band lists and different formats. Is that very much different having a different mulligan rule and different band lists? That's already something that you like. You need to be aware of. Uh, let's see. We'll get a mountain. They have kept every single card with Ascanta here. Every single card. So they tapped out. We'll see if we get to resolve this Vivian. Nice. If I didn't resolve Vivian, I was going to be using Cinder Vines to blow up Wilderness Reclamation. We'll resolve Vivian, so no one said Vivian can do that. Was painless. Can I have one more mana for this Ravager Worm to eat that thing? I guess I'm just going to have my own 3-3 blocker.
I don't want to let them untap and be able to have a counter spell up for this Vivian. <laughs> Get that out of here. Get rid of all their stuff. How this feel the wrath of Scala. Our mold of three is coming coming through. Our opponent was on a mold of four though, so. Dang. Got the third wilderness already? We are on a mold of three, but opponent's on a mold of four. Dang, never mind, our mulligan's not coming through. Found three wildernesses. Alright, they put all of them to the bottom. Please don't have another Ascanta. Bleh. I kept something on top. That's a great card. Please do not have... Okay, at least it's not a Nexus. We're still going to beat a crap ton of 3-3s three though. You can't stop nature. Killing this 3-3. Three three. Um, blocking or attacking? I guess I'm blocking. I guess I'm blocking. So if you, if you start making functional rules changes on how magic is played in different formats, I think that's too much. I don't agree with that sentiment myself. Every defeat is a new beginning. But I could see that perspective. Hmm. I'm really surprised they didn't crack the memorial there. Use their three mana and then the other three mana to crack memorial. Pretty surprised about that. Um, so I can have like Biogenic Ooze with Negate Backup, I could just play the Cinder Vines and blow up the Wilderness Reclamation and then play Druid and like the two Druids, um, so that's three, I guess maybe just one Druid and Negate Backup. Let's do that, we'll just play one Druid. hand is stacked. Oh, track team on Friday has been a little better.
Our Mold of Three was looking good when we played like the Vivian stuff, but our opponent just kind of really turned it on. Their, this Precognitive Perception was just an insane card for them. They scried three to the bottom and then drew three awesome cards. And they found three Wilderness Reclamations and like their top 12 cards. Destroyed two and they had another one. Card is just completely unfair. But oh well. One and one. That was a card that was printed for some asinine reason. Alright, play first. Yeah, I think keep turn three Jade Light Ranger on the play. That's certainly reasonable. Um, let's see, I need to do this. If I play Grow from the Ashes, I could potentially have, you know, one of these awesome five drops on the next turn, but we don't have the land in hand to guarantee that. If we had the land in hand to guarantee that, I think I'd play the Grow from the Ashes here. Right, what did we just play? We played uh, Jeskai. So I need a Jeskai. Thumbnail. The opponent played Charter Course there, and did not have a land drop. Discarding a Crackling Drake. Explosion the bird. Play around Spell Pierce. Would you? No one knows the wilds like I do. No phoenixes in the graveyard. That's that's a good sign. this Jessica mid-range thing for YouTube real quick. Okay, what we got? We got a Vivian to stick up. Meet my newest friend. Kind of have too many cards in my hand already. Could see um Could see just you know grabbing Krasis a little bit ago as like the thing to do. This crisis is just such a good card. I've seen things that would break someone like you. That's 
Kill that thing. We just had so many cards in hand, though. I just grabbed another land. Help us cast all of our stuff. All right, opponent got stuck on lands, did not have any phoenixes. Their hand did not work out very good. Unfortunately for them. So what are we doing against Phoenix here? All right, almost got this video up on YouTube. Publish. Okay, back to chat. Why not bring in Ty Yeah, I guess we could... Yeah, Tyrant would not have been a bad card to, to bring in against the... Counterspell Nexus deck, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Um... What do y'all like here against Phoenix? I can see Phoenix being kind of tough. I don't want any of those. Shock is really good at killing uh, Electromancers. It's definitely possible that we're just supposed to, you know, maybe like not even sideboard that much and just try to, you know, go big quickly. Vivian's pretty awesome against Drake, not so good against Phoenix. It was awesome that game. Our mana creatures aren't as good here against, like, they're very shock heavy. Let's get our shocks, Vivian. Cut some of these mana creatures. Kind of want to play Negate, but. Cindervines is not going to kill my opponent faster than Phoenix is going to uh, kill me. Phoenix or Drake. Kind of wanting to keep this instead of going to five. Uh, you know, with having Druid into Grow. On the play, I'd be going to five. On the draw with our scry, you would get three looks at a second land here. First, first two, no good, no good with crisis. Then jade light. Yeah, our deck's not been helping us out with these these hands here the last few games. I mean, obviously the last hand was good, but the the one before when we mold a three and then. This mold of six. So they ditched a crackling drake. They really like ditching crackling drakes. So they got rid of an Entrancing Melody also, which would be an amazing card here. Both Crackling Drake and Entrancing Melody would be really good, but our opponent just let them both go. Hmm. What are they... What are they doing? They're not playing either of those. What are you doing, opponent?
Yeah, Druid is, is really vulnerable for sure. So that that made the keep sketchier because of how they likely have all the shocks. I'm not sure how we're not dead yet, but we're not. It's not going to help me kick a Grow from the Ashes next turn. That was my plan, was to kick Grow, grow from the Ashes. So now I can just play regular Grow or just Krasis for one. I mean, well, Krasis for two, but draw one card. I'm going to do this. I really want to kick Grow from the Ashes. Hmm. I, just, I feel like our opponent's got to have, like, negate, right? Maybe they, maybe they have Disdainful Stroke? Like a, I bet Disdainful Stroke's probably a thing. We have, like, a lot of answers to Crackling Drake in our hand. that I don't necessarily need to like wait on Hydro Crisis being super big. I've lost so much draw and fire. I guess attacking with Crisis means that Arc Light Phoenix just comes down and kills Vivian. Yeah, do they have another Niv? So another Niv, we could have like Vivian find a land and then Ravager Worm eat it. Ooh, let's see what we got. Which now we can just eat the Electromancer, give haste, and kill this Ral. Balance comes. Fair enough, fair enough. I remember. So they have a Phoenix in the graveyard now. And between, like, Ral taking up also, like, they got to find something for Phoenix, I would think. That'll do. Ah, not again. Well, was a pretty unfortunate counter the wind blows in. for the Ravager Worm. All right. So I have six mana right now. Um, let's cast Grow for mana number seven. Shock this thing in. For Ooze or for Vivian? And then, you know, hopefully next turn have nine for Fight with Fire. The wild, the wilds are my shield. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye-bye. 
<laughs> Feels like Arena is telling me to take a few days of to take a few days off. The shuffler hasn't really liked me in the last three days. Ah, sorry to hear that, Jolner. Yeah, Vivian voice lines are some of the worst. Vivian does not have very good uh, voice lines. I agree there. <laughs> ah! Strike me, and you strike nature. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah! ah I've seen squirrels Pass. hit Pass. harder. Pass. Okay. Oh, I didn't draw the land. Well, I'm certainly just doing this. Sometimes restoration means retribution. I need the land. I should have taken the land instead of the Ravager Worm. To be able to go fight with fire. Um. I could have like Worm kill the Phoenix and attack Ral, but they just they're just certainly gonna replay Phoenix. I guess I could just kill Electromancer then. And attack Ral. Or no no close to like this fight with fire. I guess that's what I'm just doing though. I really want to draw that ninth land and kick the fire with fire and clear their whole battlefield. <laughs> You're good. Not as good as me, but... Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Could have taken the land instead of the Ravager Worm to ensure that last turn with Vivian. Uh, yeah, Tron and Tron and Titan Shift, the big mana decks, are were certainly a bad matchup for the band deck. Yeah, those those were those were bad matchups. You don't just lose, you know, a hundred percent of the time though. The one tournament I did play that in, I was actually undefeated against Tron and Titan Shift. Just beat Tron once and Titan Shift twice. It's not like you lose every single match, but it's certainly really tough. Yeah, I mean, I just gotta kill everything, I guess. I guess I gotta shock and kill everything. Don't just have... Don't think I have, like, another option. But it's modern. You're not... Modern's the format where you're not gonna... You're not gonna beat everything. You're going to have bad matchups. And at the time, those were matchups that I didn't mind sacrificing. No amount of science is going to fix this. At least we're up a game. We're probably going to a game three here. So knowing they have a bunch of beacon bolts, I wonder if there's something I need to change about that. Well, they don't play bolts, but they play phoenixes that kill us. I think I'm supposed to be doing different in this match. Maybe get these druids back in here. No, I kind of like what we got going on. 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't do anything about the lag. I, but yeah, it looks like it's the connection's unstable right now. I can't do anything about that. Um, I'm sorry about it. Um, hopefully that fixes it. It does look like the looks like the bit rate's going back up. It dropped there a little bit. It seems to happen like when like arena gets too like when arena gets really late in a game, kind of starts happening more. So Biogenic Ooze is kind of weak against Shock, that's why I didn't really play it immediately. There, how they could like just shock the Ooze with like that open mana. So many things like they could do with, with this ooze, like counter it, shock, any of that kind of stuff. Okay, they had nothing. So what did they keep? They're just sitting here not doing anything. All right, that's okay. Yeah, I could have just dealt the two damage at end step. That's what I was considering doing, but two damage is just is just not very much. I decide to play out my card. Next turn we can double activate Hellkite. Uh, even if the Druid dies, we'll have eight mana next turn. Uh, maybe they're waiting on the ability to take the Hellkite. That's not good. They're sitting with beacon bolts. Ooh, that is good. So four plus one, two, three, four, five. That was a really good draw. All right, good job. Good job, deck. Good job, deck. All right, two and one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a quick refresh how like the stream was lagging a little bit there. Just going to do a quick arena refresh here. Yeah, I almost forgot about that deck of, that card in my deck, but it was the perfect card to draw there. The heart of the cards. Can't complain too much about that one. All right, we're two and one.
<laughs> Expansion Explosion is a, is a really nice card. I wish, you know, I wish there wasn't Wilderness Reclamation with it, because that doesn't need to be a thing. But just on its own, it's just a, a pretty well-designed card. Um, I like it quite a bit. I like how... Like just the expansion part, copying anything from four to less is like really interesting. How we had that even last match of or last uh, deck we played where we could copy heroic reinforcements kind of thing. An explosion is really good for late games. It's very powerful. It does not need wilderness reclamation to be good enough. We're living the dream with turn three, Girl from the Ashes kicked. I could do that into Lava Coil. Do I want to coil this token here? Sure. That one's going to deal, deal a decent amount of damage to us. Hmm. 5-5 five, five Krasis will be bigger than these things. Or I just play Biogenic Ooze plus Druid. I'm going to just do that and go towards an even bigger crisis while all, all the while these oozes are growing. Um, I take eight. These are all four threes yet again next turn. Honestly, maybe I probably should just block. I think, we, like, with Krasis and stuff, like, we have a good late game. Like, next turn, my, my creatures are only going to be four fours. They're still going to trade with those things anyway. Oh my gosh. So many histories. I'm pretty glad I just blocked, honestly. Alright, do I do, do I do dubs, Jade Light, or the big Krasis? Probably dubs Jade Light and just have the Jade Lights block these things. So I want them to be three twos. So that's good. It makes it a three two. And that's also just a good card to have to shoot our opponent's creatures. I have exactly enough mana to be able to play this Hulkite and activate it, thankfully. Yeah, yeah, these are not the adapt ones. Yep. They have the kick ones. Um... Done a good job of playing enough defense against Trip's history, honestly. I'm just gonna shoot Sky Marcher and a 1 1. The reason to do that, activate main phase, is them having a Convoke spell. So whether it's Conclave Tribunal or Venerate Luxodon.
Looks like Luxodon. Ah, uh, Tribunal. Yeah, you can find the links to my deck lists here on the Stream Decker page, exclamation point decks. You can find them there. Go, Hellcat, go! That was a good top deck. I agree. Good top deck. Gonna try being all this thing now. Lame. Alright, draw land. Alright, so we have crazes for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm just gonna do it for six so that um could like draw a land in the lava coil. Hmm, I have to shock to lava coil. That's probably okay. Yeah, we have Vivians in our deck, as far as enchantment removal goes. Now I can Krasis for 8 next turn. Or... Crisis for 11 next turn, draw a land, make it 12. No big deal, I got plenty of mana. Do 10. Wait, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 4, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have two blockers. Gain 5. Alright, that'll do. So as far as sideboard cards, I don't think we have any. We could play Shock, I guess. Shock's probably better than Explosion, even with us having like a bunch of mana. Like we we want to get to like the late game. Yeah, I think I'd rather have Shock than Explosion. Is this other Shock better than anything else? I mean, I think I like the Vivians after seeing all those Conclave Tribunals. I think I don't think I want to take out Vivians, but I don't really want to add in a third Vivian. Yeah, I don't have yeah, I don't have black mana for finality. Hmm. Is shock better than Ravager Worm? Does this cost so much mana? Or is it better than Fight with Fire? It can't kill Benelish Marshall, but it does kill something else earlier. So I think Fight with Fire and Ravager Worm are probably my not so good cards. I mean, I guess Biogenic Ooze. No, Biogenic Ooze is pretty good. Just gonna keep it. Let's 
give it a try. Der Doctor. Oh, Daniel from Brazil. I didn't say hi. Sorry. Hi. I missed you there. Yeah, I could see our opponent sideboarding out Adanto Vanguard with us having like a bunch of creatures to block it kind of thing. But maybe more on the draw. I could see them having it on the play. I could kind of see it either way. I know I wouldn't be... Uh, thrilled about the card if I were in their position but it it is good enough to steal games alright then taking a little bit here I'll go ahead and make my teamer ramp thing for YouTube wow why is our deck doing this to us so much That is not the first zero lander we've seen in this league. I think Druid's the play, because if we draw Growth in the Ashes, we want to be able to play that kicks next turn. If we don't, I think I can just play Incubation Druid and Stomping Ground. They did not have another land, so I could certainly see them having, like, Benelish Marshall in hand. They didn't play anything else. Or, like, Tribunals. I guess even Venerate Luxodon. I'll turn on the old Snubhorn sentries. Looks pretty bad for us. Looks pretty bad for us. I want to kick this thing. We have nine mana. We're a little ways away from that. A little ways away from nine mana. Uh, I don't. I don't know what better Twitch TV is. Lethus. I know there's a thing that says better Twitch TV settings. And nobody's really asked about it, so. so I know I have like a setting thing and I have some things we say off, some things say on. Deliver us to victory. I guess I need to connect my Twitch.
think I can stay alive by chump blocking with both. Chump blocking with both Krasises. But I don't really know where I'm going because fight with fire kicked. You know, we do get to fight with fire kicked next turn, but that doesn't like necessarily kill all their stuff. Um... So is that is that something that y'all want me to connect the better t better TTV thing? Do you want me to to connect that? You are capable of more than you assume. I haven't. Nobody's ever talked about that in chat before. All right, let's go to game three. Like it's it's ten emote slots for or it's ten emote slots for myself. Like I I need to get ten more emotes, kind of thing. Shock did not look very good there. It didn't kill some of their stuff. Wouldn't have killed some of their stuff. I have like a Carnage Tyrant just to block. I guess I'll have to look in I guess I'll look into it there. And and see. So yeah, I, so I guess to answer the original question, I haven't considered adding better Twitch TV before. Someone's oh, playing so slow. Come on, opponent. They've between these games here, they've kind of taken a break. The same thing that between the second and third game. Or the first and second game. Things might be like going around their house or whatever and Whoa. Down to four? That's that's not good. That's not good. All right, Jade Light, find, some, find another land. Not a land. Not a land. I don't really want to throw Ooze and Ravager Worm away. Those are good cards, but we need a, yeah, we need another land. There we go. So I think I'm just going to Vivian and start ticking up. I guess they could have Conclave Tribunal for the Vivian. And I don't really want that. So I'll just play. I'll just play the Hellkite, and then if they Tribunal Hellkite, we have Vivian destroy the Tribunal. All right, that is a win. So we are three and one. Unfortunately, our opponent multi four there, so it wasn't much of a game, but it still counts as a win. So we'll still take it.
No, the zombie deck we did not get to. Uh, the We got through our 12-hour stream before we got to the zombie deck. So, I will likely be playing zombie deck today. Uh, with Jeskai midrange not taking very long. We'll see. Uh, I'll probably have time for a fifth deck today. Uh, if not, I'll absolutely have it on the schedule for tomorrow. And that was another zero lander. That's the third seven that we've seen with zero lands. This league. If we have green mana, this hand looks to be pretty good. If we can find green mana. Green sources we're looking at 10. We only have two mountains in the deck and they're both in our hand. It's unlucky. Um, so there's six, six of our lands do not produce greens. So we have 18 green sources. Hmm. I kind of want to keep this. Gruel, Fren Gruel Frenzy? Yeah, that sounds like a good deck to play tomorrow. We're going to be uh, going with a, another 12-hour stream tomorrow because of Crimson Cove then and Gatsby. Uh, throwing down all those bits a few days ago. So, certainly have room to play some decks. I have no decks right now in the queue. I have a donation deck for Sunday. I guess I don't have any donation decks for tomorrow. When got through all the rest of the donation decks today with like these four that I had on the list. Yeah, we had this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, it's in like the it's not in the the dashboard per se, but it's in my my Twitch settings as the there's like a better TTV settings kind of thing. Wow. Last turn our opponent had Chain Whirler plus Light of the Stage have both of those. And they're not even... I guess they're going to play the Wizard's Lightning. Okay, so they're just not going Frenzy. Well, wait. They could Frenzy also with Steamkin. Jeez. That's an easiest block. Let's turn the Druid into gain 3 life. I don't think they should have attacked with the Steamkin. Jeez. That's a turn right there. If I play the Ooze, then... I can't really block the Chain Whirler still, so the Ravager Worm's a good draw here of being able to kill that Chain Whirler. I need to draw Vivian to, to get rid of this Frenzy quickly. I don't think we have this one. I 
kind of need my opponent to whiff here, so that's why I'm attacking. Like, I have to try to end the game. <laughs> oh, yeah, Needy Rat. This is a good song. Our opponent's still playing stuff, and we're at one. All right, uh, shock and negate. I mean, there there are these really random fountain of renewals in the sideboard, which I guess I can play here. And you know, this card's not very good, but I guess I'm gonna play him. So let's see what else. All the druids aren't spectacular. Of not you know not trading in combat too much, but I don't think I cut him. I think I'll take out expansion. Maybe I take grow from the ashes out. Fire with fire is very good against chain whirler and steamkin. Like we need answers to those things. I know it costs three mana, but just killing killing Chain Whirler or Steamkin is really important. But those are <clears throat> certainly the best of what it's good against. It's the best it can do, I mean. Yeah, it is kind of hard for us to take turn three or turn four off to ramp, but without grow, if we take out grow, we may not get to like these five and six mana cards. As easily. We'll see. I do like negate a lot in the matchup. At least we have one land. It's not a zero lander, like we've had a few times. Keep. Bottom. Negate can get that <clears throat> burn spell, it's gonna kill us. I'm basically not cutting Vivian because we saw Frenzy game one. And Frenzy, you know, dominated us. I didn't take out all the ramp. We still have the eight ramp creatures. I just took out Grow from the a the three Grow from the Ashes. It's not really all all the ramp. Us also stabilized the battlefield. Like their their creatures killing us is, you know, definitely a problem. Their creatures deal a lot of damage and Ooze helps stop that. Ooze. Just puts a couple, you know, reasonably sized bodies on the battlefield. That also kind of need to be answered. I like it. Two for ones are good. So dude's kind of is. Vivian can help us find Krasis. Beasts of the wilds are my shield. <laughs> All right, lava coil shock, lava coil, lava coil shock down to the bottom. 
Don't want those cards anyway. Deck. Alright, where's a crisis? That's not a crisis. No one knows the wilds like I do. That's a crisis. So we're at seven mana right now. We cannot kick fight with fire next turn. Balance comes. All right, Druid, Druid. I don't think I'm ultimating Vivian next turn. Like, ultimate Vivian doesn't really do a ton for us, necessarily. I think I'm just going to tick up and look for uh, Krasis again. And we got four of them in the deck. I've seen things that would break someone like you. So that pays for Krasis. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So, Grow could come in instead of Negate, I guess. Like, that that would be if we don't want to play Negate. I mean, I think that's, like, our option is either Negate or Grow. See, cutting down a couple of these creatures. I could cut, like, Ravager Worm. Yeah, we could cut Ravager Worm. For two Negates. Let's do that. No, I don't think they made a mistake not killing, not trying to kill Vivian at all. No, I don't think so. I think they have to, they have to kill me. Bleh. Bleh. How many zero landers have we seen with this deck? So many zero landers. No, no particular reason playing two druids instead of just playing one and adapting. One and adapting. I was thinking about it while I was doing that. One and adapting is, was likely a better play there. He has so many zero landers. So I can fight with fire this pyromancer save damage or I can wait till next turn and fight with fire the chain whirler. Probably want to fight with fire the chain whirler. Guess I just grow here. We do have a lot of five drops in the deck that we could draw into. Oh, I should have got another blue source. Because of having negate. I should have just grabbed another blue source. Hey, what's up, Sculpted Mind? All right, that worked out. And let's get rid of this thing before they start firing off like one mana wizard's lightning. Now I would like to draw a land here so I could crace this for four and gain two, draw two. 
Yeah, we already had two green sources, so I just got a third. I got a, a blue. Well, so much for that two life we just gained. Losing it again. So is grow here better than negate? I don't know, maybe. It's not better than Ravager Worm, but it, obviously the first grow was better than a Ravager Worm. Stupid Chain Whirler. Not dying to my shock. I think the, I think the shocks in the sideboard... That's actually something that should be changed. The shocks in the sideboard need to just be Shivan Fires. Shivan Fire is just a, an upgrade for the sideboard card for this deck over shock. So that's that's something that could certainly be changed. Hmm. I looked at my man and had had a lot of red sources, but I guess this is kind of awkward. Hey, what's up, After Wizard? Um, you want to donate for a donation deck today? Let's see, it's almost 6 o'clock. We have two decks to do after this. Steamkin Frenzy. Frenzy. Yeah, I can do I can do another deck today. Kaijus, I can do another deck. Vivian. Hmm. All right, cash this thing, this thing in. Gross. Not looking good. Crasis would be for seven if we draw a Crasis. That'd be nice. Ugh. I do like how our opponent's playing red decks with Experimental Frenzy. That's like something that a lot of people moved away from for a while of not playing Frenzy. Uh, but my last losses to red have been people that have been just main decking Frenzies. The card is just so ridiculously powerful. Yeah, treasure map's good with, with Frenzy of you know, being able to scry and everything. Okay, cool, Skull Divine. Good luck with Grixis Discard. Hey, we got a gifted sub here. We are dead. Dinsim, uh, getting a gifted sub from After Wizard. Thank you, After Wizard, and yeah, there you go, Dinsim. Enjoy the enjoy the emotes. All right, so we still went three two with our deck, which was honestly pretty good. And Eldron, also getting a gifted sub, making it up to five. <laughs> Thanks, Fear to Monkey. Welcome to the channel, Eldron. 3-2 is honestly pretty good for how bad our hands were. We had... It was just kind of an unlucky league. We had, I know, at least three times a seven-card hand had zero lands. Uh, I know we had like a six with zero lands. We had a, a bunch of one-landers. So all that kind of stuff was pretty unfortunate. It's possible I... Maybe I shouldn't have taken out the Ravager Worms for that last game. Just taking out... Maybe I took... I don't know. I feel like we could trim two top-end cards against Mono Red, right? But we just didn't see... We saw one crisis, you know that was that was it. Was just one crisis. Uh, Grow from the ashes looked awesome. Fight with fire was pretty cool too. The druid was pretty impressive. Um, 
Krasis, Worm, Hellkite were awesome. Ooze was okay. Ooze was good a couple of times. Uh, it was good against like the model, like that time that we beat Mono Red, and it was good against the history of helping us survive triple history against Mono White. Ooze, Biogenic Ooze did a big job in that. So honestly, the main deck looked pretty good. Sideboard had uh, some stuff I didn't like. Uh, Shock, I think we, that's just got to be Shiv and Fire because we're not doing like the two upstairs. Like, but but Shiv and Fire is pretty important in this metagame. Uh, thinking about like Mono Blue is like a is like against Mono Blue is where we want to bring in the Shock, but Shiv and Fire can also kill Tempest Gin uh, later on, especially how we can get more mana. Um, so I think that's just a, a pretty big upgrade of getting Shiv and Fire in there. Fountain Renewal is just not a good card. It's it's not. We did have it like that last game, game one, and it did gain some life, and then we got to draw a card. So it, it actually replaced itself and gained a decent amount of life, which is good. But I would just rather have kind of anything else that gains life. Um, I don't know, something that's just something that's better. There's got to be better things against Mono Red than Founder Renewal, because it's Founder Renewal also is just not good in any other matchup. You're not playing against Mono White or Mono Blue. Or anything else except for just specifically mono red, and there's got to be better options than that. Um, oh yeah, this also has synergy with with Elf and Druid, which is true also. So that's that's another reason to get Shiv and Fire over there in the sideboard. Um, we have an Elf donation deck for Sunday. It was donated for Sunday. Uh, besides that, the only other card that I don't really like is Find Finality. I don't love this one either. This is basically only against Control. Uh, where I think I'd probably rather just have another Carnage Tyrant or Banefire if you're worried about that. But we kind of have a lot of good things against Control anyway. That's kind of like a pretty good matchup for us. So I don't really love the Find Finality. I could see that being something else. I could see just playing... like. I, I could see uh, Mono Blue being pretty tough for our deck. And so maybe just instead of... Yeah, we have Cinder Vines too. We probably just don't need the Fine Finalities. I think I would play... Uh, I'd play two of the Crowl Harpooners. So I would certainly get Shock out and play Shiv and Fires. And I would play Harpooner instead of Fine Finality. I know they do drastically different things, but I just kind of feel like Find Finality is just overkill against Control. You already have, like, the Counter Magic and Vivian, Carnage Tyrant, and Banefire to bring in. You already have seven cards to bring in against Control, where really the only things you really kind of need to cut are, like, Fight with Fire and Lava Coil. Um, so I think that the Find Finalities are just really overkill there and don't help out as much. And then just two other cards instead of Fountain of Renewal. I don't know exactly what. Like, maybe more Shivan Fires, honestly. Like, that card's kind of strong. Uh, maybe Fiery Cannonade. If you're worried about, like, tokens. I could see tokens being tough for our deck. So maybe a couple Fiery Cannonades. <clears throat> um, something else there. But you can kind of... Kind of play the deck a little more and see like what you struggle against and see what you want for that. What you want there. Um, even uh, I think th if you want a card for Mono Red, I think Thrashing Brontodon's a better card than Founder Renewal. Th Thrashing Brontodon being a three-four blocks really well. A uh, really good body against the creature against their other creatures, which is really important. Um, and you know attacks and everything, and then can also just blow up a frenzy if you need to. So I mean, I, I would rather have Thrashing Brontodon in my deck. Then found renewal, and then you can also just have thrashing bronze on against uh, against Nexus too, so it does double duty there. So I think those are six kind of good upgrades in the sideboard. But I, I liked what we had going on here, and everything. So untamed Kavu works as yeah, that's true. It does work with Druid as well, but just don't really need to play that. A lot of these other cards are pretty powerful. I don't really know what. Untamed Kavu is going to be better than. Yeah, and Bronchodon's good against against a Mono White also. Uh, you know, can blow up a Conclave Tribunal, good at blocking. I think that's just a, a basically a strict upgrade over that uh, that other artifact that we had here. 
All right, so if you are watching this video later on on YouTube, one, thanks for watching, and two, I hope you hit that subscribe button over there, and I'll see you for the next video.